As researchers, it's important that we know how to talk to people about our research. That's why Baylor College of Medicine has made these buttons available. It's also why I'm here with my son, Samuel, to show how fun it can be to talk about your work. So, what do you research? So my research is in looking at ethical and policy issues related to human genome sequencing. What is genome sequencing and what does it do? So you know how when you're born, you get half of your genes from your mom and half of your genes from your dad, and your genes kind of tell you certain things about yourself. So they'll tell you what color eyes you're gonna have, what color hair you're gonna have, but they also tell you certain things like, uh, what risk of disease you might have for certain conditions or diseases. And so I deal with reading people's genome, which is like a book, right? And telling them information about diseases or conditions that they might have in the future. And what are some of the ethical and policy issues related to that? So is genome sequencing related at all to like Ancestry.com? Yes. A lot of people test their DNA to see where their ancestors came from, right? So. You know where your ancestors came from? Uh, dad's side of the family came from Ireland. Right. My side of the family came from like Germany and Russia. Yeah. Right. So you know that from talking, you know, to, to people in our family. But you can also test your genome and they can confirm that. And they can say, yeah, your family came from this area or that area. They can also connect you with other people who might be related to you. So it'll say, oh, this person in our database is, is probably your second cousin based on how similar your genomes are to each other, right? Yeah, we've had that experience. We have had that experience, that's right. And we've we identified a new second cousin who we didn't know existed because, because of that, right? So are there any problems that genome sequencing can cause? Yeah, so some of the main concerns that people have is that when I can read the entire book of your genome, right, it tells me a lot of information about you, right? It tells me potentially who your relatives are, like what you might look like, potential diseases that you have or that you might get in the future. Um, and so there's a lot of concerns about people's privacy. They don't want other people getting access to that information because they don't want them to use it in a way that could harm them. So a lot of the stuff that I do relates to how do we protect people's privacy while at the same time allowing things that are really good to happen like people getting tested so that they can potentially identify if they're going to have a disease and treat it earlier. Could it lead to curing diseases you didn't even know you had or didn't have yet? Yeah, absolutely. That's the hope of, of genome sequencing is that we'll be able to identify what diseases you might be at risk for and then either prevent those diseases in you or eventually treating them early and being able to cure them.